Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a bandana and face mask and neck warmer at the uh, two-in-one. So now I have a fabric here. I'm going to inside out so I can measure. So I'm done cutting this long piece. That is 22 by 22. And now I need another piece. So this one I need another piece you're going to cut is I need the uh, 15 inch by eight and a half. So the long way is 15 and the wide is a and a half. Okay, so when after you cut, you're going to do is you're going to take You're going to take one inch on each end in. Okay, so you're going to iron it. Take down one inch, fold it down just like this, just like what I'm doing. Same thing to the other side. You're gonna take one inch in. The reason why we don't take the um, little bit down and we take one in because we're not using the sewing machine. But if you're using the sewing machine, you're going to run the line here. You're going to sew that line in for me, please. You're going to use the, um, the wrong side, the inside out. And you make sure that you're going to hold the two on the top evenly. You know, the one on the on the top here. And then you get the iron, you're going to iron this full part. When you have it like this, you're going to fold one more time. You're going to fold one more time, just run the iron on it. Just a little bit. You don't need to do much on the iron. Just run it there so you can see the line it divide into two. You see the line right there? So now after you fold it over and then you iron it, you can see the line here, okay? So what do you do is I have a piece of paper right here. This piece of paper is, say, the long way is six and a half and the, the wide side is one and a half inch. So I place it right in the middle. I'm going to fold the piece of paper in half. After I, I cut the piece of paper out, and I'm going to place where the line that you, you iron. Both sides, you're going to measure both sides is even. So this is one inch away from the paper and this is one inch away from the paper. So you're going to plate this full side to this full side. Just like that. Okay. In the meantime, you're going to get your clip ready. Uh, the binder clip ready. Cause you're gonna use it. Get your dressing needle beforehand. Anyway, so when you're done, you go going to fold. I'm going to do this way so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to place my hand over like this. You see my, my index finger over here? I'm going to push the fabric. And in my thumb right here, I'm holding the fabric. So I want to make sure the fabric go, see this paper oh, holding the, the, the fabric right there. So I'm going to in the middle of the line of the, the paper when we fold the line. I'm going to press this down just like this. You see? And now when you have it, you're going to get the um, the clip and then you clip it. Just right on it. Okay. So when you're done with one side, I like you to turn around. I'm going to turn around. You don't need to when you do your. I turn around so I can show you the other the other side you need to do. Okay. So the paper still in there. This is the half of the paper that belong to this side. 
So what you need to do is you're going to watch me. I'm going to place my hand the same way, my index finger underneath here and push the, the fabric in. And then when you get into the middle, I'm going to come out like this. Right in the middle. Right here. Where is the paper that full? Come right out. Okay. Now, so I'm going to get the clip. I'm just clip right in the middle. And I'm get the iron. I'm going to iron it just to make sure it just lie down a little bit for you. Just to see the line when you fold. Because when you flip in the other side, you need to be able to see the, um, the fold. Now you can see the fold line that you fold earlier. Are you going to go back? You're going to go back. This is the middle one. And then you're going back to the line that you fold. It's already there for you. All you need to do is just bring it back to the line that you fold. The other side, same thing. You bring the camera and so you can see. You see when you open, you follow the line that you iron. And this is the middle, the middle part right here. This is the half, half of the face mat. And this is the other side of the face mat. So what you need to do is I need you to get two elastic, six and a half. Six and a half, you go on the cut. When you have it, this is the line that you folded in half earlier when you first iron it. So this is one side of the face mat and this is the line right here. You're going to place the black elastic right there, just like that. And then you bring this side in. You're going to bring this side in to meet this line. Make sure it's nice and neat. Okay, all lie up nicely. When you have it, you make sure this elastic right there, it touching the, the, the full line all the way. Okay, because you don't want it to stay out here. When you open it, when you're done with the face mat, the elastic is kind of weird looking. So now, you get your finger and you push the elastic onto the wall right here in the in the the full line right there. And you get the clip, you go on to clip it to make sure it stay there for you. Same thing to this line right here. This is a filter pocket sign. So I'm going to place it right there also. Another end of the uh, elastic. I'm going to make sure it go right to the end right there. Okay, and now you can get the clip and you can clip it. I'm going to clip another one right in the middle. And I'm going to clip this one right in the, right there from the beginning, the elastic, right on the elastic. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. You hold your finger there, pick up the whole thing in your hand. So now I have it in my hand. I'm going to sew this. The first, I'm getting dread. The first one that I'm doing, I'm going to go right at the beginning, go through the elastic, just like this. Okay? And then I sew half an inch away from the you know where the uh the biter clip right there okay now you're going to sew make sure your thread and uh, your make sure your needle go in go through the elastic because you want to keep the elastic in there it's not cool if you wear it and in the middle of the walk or something like that it fall off it's not funny so now you do about five or six times when you have it, like the last one you do, 
you go on to pull the dress all the way and you see the loops right there i want you to get the needle go through go inside the loop and pull cool okay so now you're going to continue to sew so all the way to the other end you're going to do exactly like this i'm going to do back stitch for this one okay so you're going to go out to this past this line okay so you go back and you see you go into the same hole you're coming out and then you move forward to the next one it's called back stitch everyone and then you go back to the same hole that you're coming out move into the next one okay so go back and forward You have to sew on machine. You're going to do that in five minutes, less than five minutes. Take the clip out. Okay, now you go on to the end where the elastic, make sure you get the needle. Go in there and push the elastic to the end. Like go all the way to the, to the wall right here. Get your finger, move it too. See, I can feel it right here. Now you go on to sew. Make sure it go all the way to here, the elastic, because you don't want to sew in the elastic here. And then when you open it inside out, it's going to be over here. And then the end over here is not, not looking good. So over here, you're going to go through the elastic. See what I do? I go through it. Then I go pull. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. So now when I get into the elastic right here, I'm going to go through it back and forth, back and forth, up and down five times or more. If you think you don't need enough, then you stop. Finish sewing here. You can go ahead and cut a little bit at the end here. Just cut this off a little bit. Okay, so now you're done, you're going to turn it inside out. Then you have your beautiful face mat. Isn't that so pretty? It's the side that facing to you, and this is the side that facing out. Now this is the next step you're going to do. I need you to take the corner to the other corner right there to make it like a triangle. Remember, when you cut it out, you can get the sewing machine or whatever you can sew on this line. If not, it's okay too. Okay, so just let it be like that and then you fold it down this corner to this corner. So you make it like a triangle. Okay, it's like this, a triangle, everyone. Okay, so from the triangle, you go to do another you're taking your time everyone and it come out nice so then you fold it again the only reason i want you to fold again because i like you to mark the middle right here so i'm going to mark right there and don't worry in that mark because you're going to sew it in so you won't see it so now i have the middle part right there Okay, the middle of the bend, uh, the of the the triangle, the fabric. Okay, right there. So now I'm going to get the face mask that we just make. The face mask that we just make. Okay, this side when you wear the face mask, it facing in. You see the two different sides right here, right? This one is folding like this, and this one have two lines like this. This side gonna be facing out, out. This is going to against your your face. So, to, so when you fold the bend uh, the the face mat in half like this, right? So you can see the middle right here. You can pinch, so you can know that is the middle of the fabric. I I mean of the of the face mat. You place that middle to the mark that you mark it here. 
turn around so you can see. Okay, so you can see the the different. Okay, because it's the same fabric. This is the pocket. It the fill the pocket right here. So basically, you facing this down. Okay, I need you to get the dress and needle. Or the machine. If you use a sewing machine, I need you to sew this line in. You sew in the bottom of the face mat right here to the, uh, I'm gonna call it a bandana. Okay? So sew this into this together. Because when you're done, you go going to flip it over like this. And that's it. Okay, so that's why I'm doing that so you can see. Okay, so you pin everything in like this. Make sure everything lie up perfectly. And then you start to sew it. Okay, now I'm going ahead and I'm going to sew and I'm going to show you how to sew this. Use in. You're going to sew all the way to the other end. Okay, now you're going to sew this way. I'll show you. You're going to slide this way. You're going to slide this. Very close stitch it. Don't sew it too far away. Very close together. You're going to place your needle this way. Don't go straight ahead. Remember, if you go straight ahead, it doesn't look good. Always do a slice the other way. Very close, stitch it together. It come out nice. Okay. To the end here. Know where the elastic go into that too. So it this one gonna be my favorite in this fall and uh, you know when the weather get colder. Or, or you know what you can make a black or well, any color, but I think the black will be good on everything if you go into uh, you know a, a, a party or something like that and it make you wear masks. So you can wear this and then, you know, and then you can pull it out and make a beautiful uh, scarf. Okay, now at the end, I'm going to make loop. Hmm. See the loop right here, I pull. Okay, now, so for the people who are watching my video and ask me where I uh, use the the uh the the no bridge for your my my, uh, my face mask i can't talk today so anyway i got my no bridge online a while back and if you order now you wait for a little time in the meantime you can go into a dollar tree i got this from a dollar tree everyone so handy okay and it's coming with two pack and then the cutter too so i use this for the nose bridge too. I show you how to do it. I'm gonna place into that face mask. So I'm showing you. So you need to cut. So only, you know, for the no bridge, I you obviously only need two inch. So for this, I'm going to cut five inches. They already in here. You don't take it out. You go, in, you buy it, you come home and you don't have to take it out from the roller. So you need five, mm, two, Five inches right here. So five inch. You're going to mark the five inch right there, right? I don't know if you see. Right here, that's the five inch when I just bend it down. You're going to place in here to the cutter that come with it. So when you place it in there, just like this, right? All you need to do, just press this and it cut for you. See, I did already cut it out for you. Very handy, everybody. Dollar Tree. And it's coming with two. And it's six, 
75 feet long two of them and the cutter so now after you I just have to get the tape ready so I don't you know when I hold it so when you hold the two together like that okay so you see the full side right here I'm going to fold about a quarter of an inch I'm gonna bang it down just bang it down just like this okay and another side you're going to do the same thing you're going to bend the other side same thing you see now just want to make sure i get the tape i'm going to tape it I'm going to tape it really good together. You know why I'm taping it? Because I don't want it to hurt your nose, your face, and things like that. So it won't come out and hurt you. So the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the tape around it. And this tape will stay really well. Now you see? Now you have a nose bridge. You don't have to go out and buy it. So you're going to place... You're going to see it's the middle. You're going to place the the piece in there, the no rich piece. Make sure it's right in the middle. Everyone, make sure this is very important. So make sure it stay right in the middle, okay? Push it all the way. If you watch my other video how I place the no bridge, then you know what to do. So make sure if you get the ruler you can measure from here to here how long and it from here to here how long so now what you do is that you're going to get the dressing needle i'm gonna slide the needle underneath the fold right here why i'm doing that because i want to hide the knot the the, the knot for my dread so when i'm in there i press really hard to hold it right there and then I'm going to sew it in. I'm going to make sure I show it's really good to block this in here. Let's see how they have friends, fun with their friend on on the FaceTime. Okay, so now you're going to keep sewing this little right here, the little on the side, just to block, just to block the uh, the no bridge inside. Okay. Okay, so now I block it in already. Now I'm going to walk in the long way. Press your finger really hard to hold it inside. Don't let it loose. And then you're going to sew back stitch all the way. If you have the matching found thread color, you can use it. I just use a different color just to show you how to sew it in. And then you're going to round it around your, your index finger. Okay, round it around so you can sew it. You see the line right there? I'm going to use the back stitch very close to it. You see? Keep going sewing all the um the way to the other end. You bang in it there, you bend down a little bit to curve, just like go around your nose. And then as close as you can go to, very close to it.
okay pull really hard down pull your dress really good you see there's a block it in there And then when you go into the end, you're going to make sure you do one more time and go up. And then move forward. And go back to the same line that you just came out. And go back to the same hole you come in, in so that you cut at the end right here so now you're going to block on the side here this is the end you're gonna block it in so it won't come out you're gonna sew back and forth I don't mind the little white dirt on it I just want to show you everything in this video Okay, now you get it. You block. You already block the uh, the no bridges in there. Now you're gonna go in here, and you see the loop. I'm gonna go inside the loop. I'm gonna pull, and I'm going to do one more time, and I'm done. There we go. There's the loop. You're going to pull, and done. So this is it, everyone. This is what we make. You make together with me. And thank you for hanging around for a long time. So this is what you need to do. You go on to place into your nose with your face and it wrap around your ear. This one go to the other ear and the extra long piece on the two side. You go on to wrap on your neck. You're going to tie it. And there you can create your own uh, face mask and scarf at the same time. Look how pretty that is. The scarf can come in down here nicely. So pretty. Comfortable. Remember the uh, filter pocket right here. Right in here. So you can put the filter in here. And then the no bridge that you just make it with me. That is right there. So very pretty. Look at this over here um because the, the 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 face mask the style it makes me uh look like one of the the character from the um sesame street cookie monster or whatever elmo with the big giant mouth look at this oh look like a monkey oh, what like a monkey all right so that's it and if you don't like to wear a mask when you get into the car I think the black one will look better or whatever color you like. Very comfortable, everybody. And when you're done, you don't want to wear it. You can take this down. You put it down. You know. And when it's time to go out, whatever, you can just put it back. Sorry. You can just put it back. Fixing the no bridge. Fixing this part. And you're good to go. How pretty that is. It take you longer, but it came out so pretty. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel to support us. And um, I see you next time. Bye. Thank you for all supporting me. And great comment you sent me. I really appreciate your kindness. Thank you.